I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial on how to basically install web apps on iOS because I've only just recently discovered this and it's it's really sharp but it's really useful like obviously you use iOS for virtual desktop um, but you might want to have software on it such as a website uh, like you might want to put YouTube as an application on here so maybe have YouTube next to your calendar or something um, so to do that you right click anywhere in this um, desktop bit and click new launcher and then you basically type what you want to call the application so let's say YouTube and then in this little drop down box you'll select inav and then in the command to be executed in the little text field you just want to type the website link so once I click update you can see I've got a little um, internet icon on YouTube there and if I click it I get this little link oh. well anyway you can see that still works <laughs> It don't work in the browser for some reason, some kind of YouTube security settings, but if you click load document in a new window anyway, that'll work and open a new tab. So, um, yeah, but I'll go into that further in depth in the future once they have more features to it. So, try that out if you want. Download I iOS from www.ios.org. Um, thanks. Since that messed up, I'm just doing a little extra additional bit, just so you get the idea. Um, let's say you want to edit this, because obviously that didn't work completely. Um, you want to click edit, and it'll bring up the same screen as before, but obviously just change that to a different website. This one's mine, by the way. Um, and you can see it works this time. Like some websites have that security where they won't let you basically access it within a frame. But you can't really tell until you try it. But that's how it looks anyway when it's. Oops. That's how it looks anyway when it's. when it works properly. Although you can still do the new window thing. Um, and obviously, if you want to. Since that's not going to YouTube anymore, you'll want to rename it. So you just right click and rename it the same way. Just make sure you edit this bit and not the I link bit. So. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh. Oh, I just get, guess you want to make a new one from scratch then. It's probably the best way anyway, because it only takes two seconds. Alright, so that's it really. If there's any additional features, I'll, I'll introduce them in another video. Um, yeah.